five pair of shoes for $245. Now what if I said the same pair, you can sell them for $4,000. But the has to go up. But, um, <laughs> the shoes I'm talking about are up as picture. Nike Air Yeezy 2 Red Octobers. These were released in February 2014 with the price of $25, $245, only online at a random time at which Nike tweeted a link. And these both sold out within seconds. Now, it's very rare for a pair of shoes to go over $1,000 resale value, but it's possible. I've been submerged in the sneaker culture for over six years. So since 2011, I've been researched and obtaining and obtaining shoes of such nature. Like um, right now, I have around red ones, came out 2016. Resale <laughs> value is around 300 bucks, and retail is 160. Now, something to keep in mind when reselling while sneakers is that some shoes have value, others don't. The higher the value, the harder it is to try to get that pair. Today, my teach one compass around such collabs, what makes a pair of, sneakers, pair of sneakers valuable, and what medium one can go to to sell such sneakers. Now to talk about not to talk about um, present collabs. Square one. Currently, Adidas is what's in, thanks to one reason: Boost. This is technology which is used on most most popularly in their Ultra Boost model and NMB model, and also Easy Boost. I forgot my model, but if you look at Peter's shoes, that's an example of an Easy Boost. Thanks to this reason, that's what why people are really into Adidas right now. Well, let's not forget Nike, but more specifically Jordan. Jordans are the reason why people view shoes as, as they do today. But what really started pe people collecting golfer shoes, paying up uh, serious amounts of money for shoes, and again, it's what started the whole sneaker culture. What made, what made it popular. Oh, then oh, there are also certain Nike models such as Nike Foam Posits, Kobe's, or Bronze, and Nike SBs, which stands for skateboarding. Not to talk about collabs. Um, there are some companies, but the most well-known collaborative companies are Dave and Supreme. So that's more good examples of Nike and Jordans. One example of a Supreme collab is the Air Max 98. I'm sure not many of you have heard of the Air Max 98, but it became, well, I became aware of it after Supreme made a collaboration with Nike, which is pictured up there. They made four collabs, four colorways with them, and each Brand new go for each brand new can go for around three hundred dollars or more. Then there are also designer slash celebrity collabs. One for example is Kanye West. Um, he's had collabs with Nike, Adidas, Reebok, and Louis Vuitton. Then more recently, there's um, Pharrell Williams with the Human Race NFB collection. And some examples of designers are as pictured: um, Ronnie Fig and and Hyunmi Homyo. These two designers each own their own stores. Um, Ronnie is owner of Kids in New York, and and, and Haifumi is owner of Atmos out in Tokyo. And these are some examples of their shoes. Each each designer have pairs of shoes with brands such as Adidas, Nike, and Asics, and some more companies that all go within four hundred dollars or more easily. Now, talk about what makes a pair of sneakers so valuable enough that people are willing to camp out for pay ridiculous amounts of money for and sometimes even fight for it. Availability, hype, and as I already mentioned, names attached. Above all, names attached to the shoe. Kanye West, as I mentioned already, I mentioned him again because he's the greatest example I can find. Any shoe with his name attached to it will sell out instantly. Even his most, even his cheapest collaboration with Louis Vuitton, which is pictured with those all-white Mr. Hudson's, retail at $820. A brand new pair when I call it that cheap, I couldn't find any resale value. I tried to fully confirm, but I couldn't find it. Then also availability. <laughs> also availability. I mean, why would somebody pay more for a shoe that's then in stock, right? Another example of this is the, all the Red October, which I mentioned. They were released only online, meaning that no store got them. Then also, an article, an article on Sneaker News written by Brendan Doon states that only 400 pairs of these holy grails of shoes were released making for a really, really limited shoe. Then also something that we've all heard of is hype. Hype is something that, it's not something that's real, it's something that's felt around sneakers. One example of this is last year's release of the Space Jam 11s. These shoes were made in great quantity. Trust me, I work at a shoe store, so I know how like, a lot were made. But these shoes, they still sold out nationwide and are still being resold nationwide. Retail is 220, but resale is like 300 bucks to 20 for brand new pair, which isn't that bad compared to other shoes. Now talk about what means are available to sell shoes of such nature. Reselling in 2017 could be done in a number of ways. The first example are special stores. 
like Fiction's Ripple A out here in Little Tokyo. And to name a couple more, there's um, Soul Stage, there's Round Two, there's Fly Club LA, there's um, Magnolia Park, there's Town for Town, there's Holy Grail, there's many more around this area. These stores, they're middlemen. So you sell to them and they sell to somebody else, meaning that they won't give you your full potential for your shoes. But some stores, such as Riff LA, offer an option called consignment. In like consignment, you name your own price, but the store takes, for example, Riff LA, they take 15% of the price that it sells for. Then also, there's another option on Facebook, on Instagram, some pages and special groups which are loaded with people willing to sell, buy, and trade shoes. Here's an example of a post on a group that I'm part of on Facebook called The Shoe Game LA. So as you see, there's a price, the shoe, and some pictures also. And um, these pages and groups, they give you your full profit, but you run the risk of, running, of dealing with fake shoes and also flakers too. That's the more thing. But they, 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 these pages will give you your full profit for your shoes. Another method, which is somewhat new stuff, is called um, the Go app. It's an application which you can download. And first, you need to be verified to sell, which takes some time. Then after that, you can start selling at a fee of 9.2% plus $5, which I use for sh is shipping, I guess. This method is more complicated as you need to be verified and it's a little bit tricky. So it's better to buy your bread rather than sell. Now we're all aware of this hidden culture, let's pick up what we learned today. Today we all became knowledgeable in brands and collabs, what makes a person feel valuable, and what mediums one can go to to sell such shoes. But it's above all important to keep in mind that some shoes have reasonable value and others don't. And I'll leave you guys with this. Look up Nike Air Max 2016 and see how much those go for. Those are really open your eyes.